Mm. It felt like we had 20 film crews sometimes because we'd have like the main camera and then everyone else had got their phone and be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Idris Elba. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> Elevator pitch synopsis. Uh, two people walk around South London, have a fabulous time. <laughs> <laughs> they kind of help each other not be anymore, I guess. So it's almost like, I think the general synopsis on the film is like two people meeting at the worst time, but they're actually kind of perfect for each other. She was like, I got a great script for you. And she sent me through this script and she was like, he's perfectly you. And the first line of the description was dumb, 20s, good looking in an awkward way. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. And I was like, okay, that's, that's, that's me. Um, no, do you know what? I think it's just like an amazing, fun script, but it feels incredibly grounded in a London that I know that I grew up in. Um, and also like a really refreshing story. Like the last thing you want to do is something that feels like it's been done before. Yeah, yeah for me, like it's rare to get female characters that are written with complexity. Mm -hmm. um, and I think Yaz is a mess in a way that a lot of all of us are, man, woman, anything, a lot of all of us are, but like she's kind of not afraid of like living in a mess and like living in a fantasy and going like the full way with that. And I was really excited to just be able to do that unapologetically. For a lot of people, I imagine they'll watch this and they'll be comparing it to your character in industry, let's say. Like, it's obvious to see what's different um, about the two projects, but different. for you, like, what um, felt the most um, different? I guess, I guess one of the first things is that he's, um, he's not from, like, high wealth at all. He's, mm -hmm. uh, he's a London lad, like, he supports Crystal Par Palace, you know what I mean? Like, he's yeah. a, you know, he's a football geezer where you speak to Gus and Gus would be like, sorry, what? Yeah. <laughs> um, so, I mean, the differences are like constant. Um, but I think for me, you know, something that was the same in them was that they're, they're not quite your average um, young black man. And, um, you know, I, I'm still young and finding my way, but the projects that I want to do are the ones that kind of push those boundaries a little bit. So industry was the same way. It feels like they kind of present themselves to you um, so I feel very lucky to be able to like do something different. And it was really important to me to like celebrate those mini moments that we've all experienced as Londoners, you know, walking down the street and just seeing a guy dressed as a cowboy. You know, that happens in South <laughs> London. Yeah. You have a woman pulling balloons out of a balloon shop and sort of panicking about it. I love celebrating those tiny little ridiculous moments um, that just happen all the time in South London. It's it's a bonkers place. And it's such an amazing kind of melting pot of cultures. And yeah, I wanted to elevate it and also not, and also show it in a way that it's not normally shown because I think, you know, there's a lot of important stories out there about, you know, it being hard in London, you know, but there's there's nothing about it just being quite nice. And, mm. and this is like Viv was saying, it's unapologetic, you know, it's, unapologetically joyful. Yeah.